have like any like uh, memorable moments that uh, you and young boys shared, or could you like share a time that's like like a crazy story? Some of the fans don't know. I don't know, like, oh yes, we was in Canada, like this is my first time going to California. And like, we riding around and shit, and they had some Jordans that came off that damn shit. Like I'm looking for the Jordans on my phone. Like we just had like a little talk about like, you know how you was young and they had some J's that came out that you couldn't get or some shit like that. Like we just started talking about like all the old J's and like the J's and nigga wanted and shit. And they had like a stolen cat, like I can't think of the name of the store right now, you feel Flight you know? Club. Flight Club, a turn up, guys. Nigga like, oh, I ain't know what Flight Club was. Like, nigga like, oh, I'm about to take you somewhere. Like, then we had went to like Flight Club. These bitches got like all the old J's on the wall. And I'm talking about like, like, like the, uh, the Raging Bulls that I want, I want to talk my shit. You know how they just came out like yeah. a couple months ago and everybody made a big deal? If you look at talk my shit, I had them bitches on. Like that day, like, Man, I think, I think YB spent like 11, 12,000 on just me and shit. All the Jordans that I wanted when I was a little boy, like, that shit probably was like the biggest. To another nigga, that shit probably don't mean nothing, but that probably was like the biggest, like, like biggest turn up he could have done for me. Like, I'm really in that bitch, like, I'm gonna drop tears. Like, man, I been on one of these bitches, uh, like, shit like that. Like, I probably came out that bitch with like 15, 20 pair of shoes, like, on some. Nigga like, man, whatever you want, but you know how somebody tell you to get shit and you like, you ain't trying to do too much, like, you know, nigga like, man, whatever you want, like, I know Raging Bulls, I think Raging Bulls were like 1400 at the time, I would never spend like 1400 on no shoes, like, this shit was so crazy, like, we walking out, uh, what it was, Flight Club, we walking out Flight Club, man, there's so many bags that the people had to come from behind the counter and help us take bags to the concert, like, it turned up. But my baby mama had like two months later, she set all them bitches on fire. <laughs> and shout out to her for setting my shoes on fire. <laughs> yeah, was, that's crazy. I was just about to ask, did you get an opportunity to win? Fuck uh, oh, no. I had one number like one pair of them bitches. Two pair of them bitches. And um, I wrote on Raising Bulls in the Talk My Shit video. And um, I had some foes like some, some Colorado Blue. I mean, North Carolina blue foes, you know? It was like one or two I woke. Like, I was thinking on some shit, like, I'm gonna put all these bitches in my closet and never win them type. Yeah, my closet about to be retarded. I took them bitches home and I went back on the road and shit. I mean, my girl getting to it, she said I want shit on fire for real, for real. I want to ask you, like, I know a lot of y'all say, like, turn me up, foe, or turn me down, foe. Like, how did y'all come up with that phrase? I don't know, I ain't come up with that phrase. I don't know, like, I don't know. I can't, I can't dollar this shit for real. And, and, like, what does it mean for, like, people that, 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 that just hear y'all say it and don't know what it means and start saying it themselves? I don't know, like, turn me up, foe, like, like, fuck. Turn me up, like. You feel me? Like, that shit should be self explanatory. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just turn me up, for Like, whatever you got going on. Like, it, it, it go with a lot of shit. Like, if, if, if you you with your dog and you ain't feeling yourself that day or something, man, turn me up, man. Like, like I don't know. Like, you using so many ways. Or, nigga, a bullshit song come on, on in the car. Like, oh no, turn me up. Like, yeah, put something else on. Or, like, you feel me? But what's crazy is I remember like us just saying that shit. You feel me? Like then us saying that shit. And then like I started getting on the ground and I'm saying everybody like turn me up for like they made up what does it call an abbreviation? Like when you shorten the shit up and shit. Like T T M U Fo. Like I'm like, damn, like really like the fans gravitated to that shit. Oh, 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 oh real. How do you feel like when you see the, the younger generation? Like so attracted to the to the NBA and to the to the, to the NBA. Oh, that shit! Movies. I'm glad you like that. Should keep me going for real, like especially like especially like when I be in the bottom, like I be where I'm from and shit like that. And little niggas be like, like little niggas be coming up to me like, me to this or me to that, or, you know what I'm saying? Like that should be that should be turning me up, bro, for real. Do you think being NBA you treated different? 
Like when they like, oh, that's, oh, he in there, meet you. I know he's so, 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 so. You think people look at you a certain type of way? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if it's just, see, I ain't gonna separate it from just being a meet shit or just a nigga that rap. Cause I'm pretty sure like, even outside the NBA, like any nigga that rap get treated different, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I guess, I guess so. Oh, I just feel like with the NBA, with the NBA title, it's, a, it's, it's really one of the, if not the biggest title. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying and shit. I, I, I feel like that, but I don't know, like, you know, this shit been, this shit been, been going on for so long, like, it's just to a point where it's just it's regular. Like, it's regular, like, you know what I'm saying? What new music can the fans be looking forward to? Oh, I got the, uh, I got a, uh, I got a tape called Ratchet Talk. Gonna drop this month. I got Ratchet Talk finna drop. We got another NBA combination mixtape finna drop. Oh, uh, not been trying to do like my only label thing type shit. You feel me? Like, I don't know, like a lot of shit. Like, for real, like I'm trying to really like the next couple months before this video, we I'm trying to drop two tapes for real. So I got that Ratchet Talk and something after that comment. NBA combination, a lot of shit for real. Like I got a lot of videos in the vault and shit. Like, like a lot, like, like a lot of features, like big features. Not even like big features too. Like the raw ass youngins out Baton Rouge and shit. Like I got some shit. Like. Any upcoming uh Baton Rouge artists? Are uh, you looking to sign or you want to sign? Say it like that, but man, it's a lot. Like, it's a lot of them. Like I really sometimes sit back on YouTube and I be like, damn, there's so much talent. Like, so I don't even really wanna say names, like for real. But it's like it's a lot of them for real. Like if I start saying names, I might miss a name or something like that. But it's it's a lot of them. But like like uh like Lux Moon and and uh like Leagues like. I've been dealing with them already, like, I've been fucking with them already and shit like that, uh, that's a lot of them, for real, I don't even want to start saying names, but, but yeah, that's what I focus on, like, I focus on, like, Baton Rouge rappers and shit like that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, Old New Orleans too, like, like, uh, Teddy, like, the Teddy, you feel me, he from New Orleans, like, that's a lot of niggas that I'm dealing with already, like, I don't, I ain't trying to make him my artist shit like, but I'm just dealing with him, working with him, like making music with him and shit like, there's so much talent down there right now, I feel like some of them be getting overlooked, like, a lot of shit going on in the band hood for 